I'm thinking to myself a couple of things. One, one of which now, you know, it's just re another uh, reminder of why people, entomologists get frustrated when we call, call things bugs. Um, <laughs> so, and then, but also like when producers are like, you know, I got this problem, I got this bug and, um, how do you get rid of it? Uh, can you get rid of it? And, and you can understand why someone might say, can you kill it easily? Okay. That's done. Let's move on because, yeah. uh, because what's happening here is beyond, beyond nuanced. I mean, maybe not everyone sees it this way, but when I see something with so much intricacy involved to me, I, there, there must be a great purpose. We don't create something with, with so much, um, technology that without a purpose, do we? I mean, there, you're talking about design. Go ahead and use the word design. That's fine. It is, but I, you know, I want to arrive there because I mean, to me, it just seems, it seems blaringly obvious that you wouldn't, if, if you just needed a hammer, you wouldn't go to a whole bunch of, of lengths to put, to add all these other features to it, these sensory abilities, et cetera, et cetera. There, there is, there must be a, a massive purpose behind these creatures, these insects, these different insects, because the intricacies of their detection systems that drives their purpose. And it, it makes me think we, we don't have a clue. I think in a lot of ways, what would you say? Do you think in some ways we, we still don't have a clue how, what the purpose is of many of these insects within our ecosystem? No, no, no. I would agree with that because in 2016, when I think that I deciphered the insect olfactory code, that's when, you know, you just open Pandora's box. And I thought, wow, I think I, I think at that time I was think I'm pretty sure I got this, right. but I said, I think I just solved it right now. And if I did, if I'm right, then this just added a whole level of complexity to the insects. I mean, I've gone through three degrees right now and I've learned nothing of what I've had to delve into. And so right. it was in 2018, two years later, when I realized, I, I think I got this. I said, this is really starting to make sense. I'm able to to answer some questions that I wasn't able to before. And we decided to go for the patent at that point. Um, lo and behold, 2024, I just found out in the last month uh, that we just got the patent approved on, oh, on uh, how arthropods are able to detect.